So this morning we're at the Ramada at Maidstone, we're dressing two rooms, we're doing the South Point room. This is where the uh, couple are having the reception and then we've got the ceremony room to dress as well. Um, so I'll take you on a quick tour of the room before we start so you can see what it looks like. So you can see everything's ready for us. Just nicely 7 o'clock in the morning, so a nice early start for us today. So this is the room laid up, we've got the dance floor down in the middle. Oh, we found some light, that's good. So just, I think there's about 68 people in this room today. So you can see that pretty much feels that you might be able to squeeze 10 more in, but you wouldn't want to do much more than that. You've got a nice backdrop to the top table of the windows, which is really attractive. Some good sized windows in here, but it's still a little dark, but now we've seen the lights on, it's helping. Uh, top table, got quite interesting napkins today, nice tall pointy napkins. Looks like they've gone every other, so you've got tall pointy and then fans, which is interesting. So there's a good look around the room, I'm guessing that's where their master of ceremonies will sit. And we will show you when we're finished. So we're all finished at the Ramada at Maidstone now. So we've done white lycra covers with a royal blue sash and white butterflies. We've done royal blue table runners, so you can see those here. And we've done some top table swagging, which I'll get round to in just a moment. So we're just waiting for them to set up the gazebo for us, and then we can go and do the chairs at the gazebo. So the way it works at the Ramada, they've got a gazebo, but they've also got a backup room, which is always useful, should the heavens open at the last minute. I'm trying to move slower, because I've noticed on my video recordings I move too fast. That's the cake table. So my usual beef with the cake tables, as in it's a round table with a square cloth on, which does not look that pretty and makes it hard to decorate. So we have done the best we can. Usually if I have a table with cloth like this, you're best to do something nice and simple and not draw attention to it. So then we've got our top table swagging. So we've gone with something quite modern, kept it tight to the top of the table, but actually dropped it down a little further than we normally would. Top table's quite long, it looks more in proportion that way. So you can see top table laid up there nicely. Sun's come out now, so the room feels much more bright and breezy, which is lovely. Kelly having a cup of tea and a biscuit, as usual. <laughs> Here's the other side of the room. So that's us done in this room, and then we're off to the gazebo, which I'll show you in just a moment. So we've just finished the gazebo at the Ramada at Maidstone. So I thought I'd just give you a look and let you see what it looks like. So really this is absolutely beautiful. So we have got a sunny day which always helps. I'll just show you the view out over the fields. Loads of open space, absolutely beautiful. So you've got the archway here. The hotel will put down a red carpet at some point so that will just finish this off. And you can see what we've just done is covered the chairs. So we've covered them the same uh, way we've covered the chairs for the wedding breakfast. The so bride will come through here. And then there's your gazebo with your ceremony table. I'll just show you that view again right now that I'm out from behind everywhere. You can see it's just absolutely beautiful. So in relation to the hotel, we are just over out the doors and to the right so you'll just be able to see the hotel behind me just there so just back through those trees is the room where they will have their wedding breakfast I'll just take a little walk down the aisle and show you everything from the front Kelly's just finishing off um, I don't I like the side but she's not asked for it so I wouldn't do anything she's not asked for so showing the bridesmaids are not on the round, we could have asked them, but she didn't specifically ask for it. Sorry, a little bit non-commentary. Uh, okay, so this is the gazebo. Actually lovely plantings all around it that are kind of growing up around it, which give it a beautiful look. And 
that's what they all look like from the front. So I'm sure they're going to have a beautiful day today. It's time for us to go home.